Hello my friends and welcome to uh, my video. Um, this is me making some components for my jewellery. Um, I recently uh, got into um, precious metal clay. Um, this is copper precious metal clay. Um, excuse the noise in the background if you can hear it, it's my washing machine. Um, I would like to work with silver metal clay but it's quite expensive and um, if you get it wrong then it's an expensive um, situation so I've started off with uh, copper clay to make components so that I can get used to using metal clay and actually I've, uh, to be fair I have done this quite a few times um, and it's getting easier but I'm really I've got a big sort of clumsy hands and so I'm not that great at things being kind of delicate um so um i'm having to work on that uh, anyway uh these are some little um 50 pence piece shapes for those in the uk um little replicas of doubloons i really like uh little ancient coins um and this will be a component in uh probably a pendant or something um for a necklace um you when you're firing it it takes longer than silver clay uh, for, sort of, for whatever reason. Um, so whereas um, if this was silver clay, you probably only need to fire it for say two or three minutes. Um, with um, copper clay, you need to fire, this, this needs firing for um, about five, six minutes, um, which is a bit of a pain in, pain in, in with your wrist because uh, you've got to hover it over the uh, the piece you've got to keep it moving the whole time um, and you've got to do that for like six minutes um, so it actually <laughs> it does start to hurt your wrist in the end um, but you do get but they are lovely um, and I do love the process I do really like the process of creating um, metal components for my jewellery Hi guys, um, after we've, I've finished firing it, it's then uh, quenched in water, it then goes into a pickle solution um, and here you can see that I've lacquered it with um, liver of sulphur um, to give it this old fe um, found feel and then it is lacquered with the Kerno Craft sealant lacquer.